That introduces number 10, religious liberty and big tech. Here's what he says. He says, the Democrat Party and their big tech allies are not merely secular. They have virtually created a new religion of wokeness that is increasingly hostile toward people of faith, particularly Christians and Jews. They're determined to drive all mentions of God out of public view. We will not be silenced, canceled, or told what's wor which words we can use by the politically correct crowd. Now that's bold. It also seems quite valid. Here is drill down points. Americans will not be required to go against their core values and beliefs in order to conform to the culture or government. We will reject both the roots and adherence of cancel culture in America. Every American will be free to live out their religious convictions in the public square, not only in the home and not just in places of worship. We will forbid government programs from discriminating against the 350,000 religious entities which operate schools, pregnancy resource centers, soup kitchens, drug addiction programs, homeless shelters, and adoption agencies. All social media platforms that censor speech and cancel people will be treated like publishers and subject to legal action. We will require big tech platforms like Facebook and Twitter to receive express consent not as a condition of use, before using Americans' personal information in any manner and make it simple for users to opt out. Big tech platforms will also be required to obtain user consent to sell, share, or convey user data to a third-party entity. No tax dollars will be used to pay for any diversity training or other woke indoctrination that is hostile to faith. Churches and faith based groups will not be forced to hire employees who disagree with their tenants and convictions. We will stop investing federal retirement dollars with woke fund managers and companies that put left-wing politics ahead of profits. Wow, stop right there. Basically, Senator Scott's plan would put an end to federal funding of the ESG movement. That is huge. As we explained, woke investing, a.k.a. ESG, is cramming progressive ideologies down the American throat with the power and support of government. The government's paying and protecting big tech and media to enforce their views in a sick sort of pact that denies Americans basic freedoms found in the First Amendment. The plan would make a priority to stop that. What's more, the power would be returned to the people. No more overt political oppression. I'm completely in favor. We can't allow a public-private partnership to execute a wholesale hostile takeover of our nation. Whatever government is in charge next must reverse the dangerous course we're on and return power to the people as our Constitution provides.